Hey everyone, glad you can join me today for vlog 101. My name is Jaime. I am the, hey everyone, shut-in cartoonist musician. And of course I'm vlogcasting from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, which is located on an island which floats in the San Francisco Bay. Today I want to talk about, speaking of 101, I want to talk about 101. You know, just 101 things. Real quick, I'm going to try to make this fast. 101 things. Um... And 101, 101, 101 uh, comes from academia. Um, those of you that went to college, like myself, uh, you remember taking courses that was, you know, whatever, math 101, English 101, whatever your discipline was. And uh, it has become part of our daily vernacular. And an example would be, since yesterday was 4th of July, um, you know, wow, I just saw Bob, you know, blew his face up practically, he put a bottle rocket in his mouth and and lit it, it just flamed his face up, and, and of course you would respond with, oh my god, what an idiot, you know, Bob, geez Louise, nobody puts a lit firework in your mouth, I mean, that's just fireworks 101, see, so basically 101 is kind of a substitute we use, it's part of our slang for uh, its basics, you should know it, it's basic, or another way would put it would be, duh, <laughs> so, there you go, 101. And that's why I'm trying to bring up some 101 issues here. 101, I didn't do a vlog yesterday. My 101st should have been yesterday on the 4th of July. I didn't do a vlog yesterday. I started to, and then I stopped. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not doing a vlog on this fucking day. No, no. And uh, take that as you want. And I'm sure you will. Take it any way you want. You know, I've already watched Colin Kaepernick for a few years try to explain why he took a knee and mostly white America's made it whatever they wanted it to be, as opposed to what the man said it was and is. And um, we'll just say that I took a, a virtual knee yesterday for the 4th of July, my vlog. So that's 101. Another 101 thing, uh, the mask. Come on, man. You know, you got to wear masks. This isn't some kind of... of, uh, of trying to control you uh, and your civil rights. It's, it's not about the amendments and all that. You have to wear a seatbelt. You, uh, you're not supposed to drive drunk and run over people. You're not supposed to let your kids go play out in the freeway. It's all basic 101 stuff. Duh. Yes. You don't even need critical thinking for this. It's just common sense. <sighs> Same thing applies to racism. Here we are, uh, how many years now, you know, getting close, I don't know, 175 odd years from the Civil War, when Abraham Lincoln, um, who by the way, you know, I know I've come up on Lincoln here a few times, and I've already gotten some people asking me about this, and kind of debating me on it, but it, this is a fact, this isn't my opinion, this isn't conspiracy theory, I'm paraphrasing here, but Lincoln did say, if I could uh, end the Civil War by not abolishing slavery, I'll do it. If I can end the Civil War by partially, you know, abolishing slavery, I'll do it. Or if I can end the Civil War by abolishing slavery, I'll do it. I'm paraphrasing, but he said that. It wasn't so much about slavery. You know, he wasn't this all like, oh, you know, the white man comes down and saves us. Poor brown people. And his, his opinion on Indians, man. Holy crap. Now, my people, he's just... We weren't even considered people by Lincoln. We weren't even considered human beings. So, you know, fuck that guy too. And I, yeah, I said it. So there, but still, it comes down to 101. Duh. Racism. Come on, man. You know, there's no white... Who is this guy? Richard Spencer, I think. He's the one that's... Uh, um, you know, started the uh, the marches that were in, uh, what was it, in West Virginia, whatever, the guys that ran over people in cars and the torches and we will not be replaced. Give me a fucking break, man. There's nobody superior to anybody else. There's no supreme beings. I mean, there was Diana Ross in the Supremes. I'd put them pretty far up there. A gasoline Supreme, sure. But I mean, uh, you know, uh, Taco Bell, though it's not real food, there's the Burrito Supreme, so... But nonetheless, this is all just the basic 101. Racism is stupid. It doesn't belong. We're all on, supposed to be on equal footing. And if you can't recognize that we aren't, you're just part of the problem and you're in the fucking way. So, that being said, <laughs> also brings me up now to the third part of the 101. Finally, 
finally getting, I mean, I've been a part of this for years and finally we're getting some traction on uh, just dismissing the, the mascot names in sports teams and institutions. Um, the Cleveland Indians took them a long time. But they finally got rid of uh, Chief uh, Wahoo. Irony was I used to play Little League for uh, two years, one year, two years in a, uh, all black league. I mean, there's me and a couple other kids in both, you know, minors and majors, like eight teams total or 12 teams. I can't remember. There was, it was all black. It was just a black neighborhood. Didn't matter. But the irony was I was on the Indians. Yeah. And our logo was Chief Wahoo. I remember it was on our, we had green, white, and green striping with Chief Wahoo on our hats, a little patch of his head and on our, on our shirts. I didn't think much about it then. I was, you know, like 11 years old or something, but neither here nor there. Uh, interesting that um, but Cleveland finally got rid of Chief Wahoo um, they are now looking into getting rid of the name of the Indians now I have some friends and acquaintances and peers that are all from the Cleveland area and it's interesting I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing there they said as much as we'll miss it because we grew up with it we understand it's all you need to do is understand you know now they're just wondering what are they gonna name them and the jokes were flying too what they should name them so it's pretty funny um, it, it wasn't racial it was all about you know the team's uh, years of, of struggling. So that was more funny. Um, the other one though was the Washington Redskins. My mother of all people, you know, my mom was not political, was not militant, but she's a native and she didn't like the name the Washington Redskins. She was the first one that brought it to my attention. And as a kid, I was kind of like, yeah, I guess, but she didn't say it was like the equivalent of the N word. I had to learn that a little later. And so now, um, no, I don't like 45, the POTUS, but I really don't like Dan Schneider, who is uh, the, the majority owner of uh, the Washington football team. And for years, he's been, he says flat out, he's not changing the name. He doesn't give a shit. He's said it. It wasn't like he was trying to hide it or be kind of like slip slide and slick underneath there and using, uh, what do they call it in George Orwell, a uh, double speak. He wasn't, not. Nah, he's just being straight up about like, no, nah, fuck you guys. I'm keeping it the Redskins. But now they're in negotiations or something. They're trying to figure out because uh, FedEx, I think Pepsi and a few other people, FedEx is a mine is a minor owner of the team, and they're saying, nah, you can't, we're not, we're not gonna support you or anybody. We're taking our name out if you continue to use this name. And they're getting other corporations to jump on board. So um, though I'm anti-corporation, I am glad that there's pressure being put on this asshole to do this. It's again, this goes right down to it's common sense. It's 101. Duh that you should get rid of that name. Now, I was growing up, I'm from California, I'm from Northern California, Stanford University used to be the Stanford Indians. You know, now they're the Cardinal. So, and they have a tree, so that represents them. I mean, whatever, it's clever. I don't understand all that, but I'm glad they got rid of the Indians. I used to live in Marin County um, up until a couple of years ago, and their high school, Tamapias High, out in Mill Valley, used to be called the Tamapias Indians. And they changed them to the Red Tail Hawks, which is a cool name. And the Red Shouldered and Red Tail Hawks are everywhere in Marin, so it absolutely made sense. No one, I haven't heard anybody complain about it. They're all kind of like, yeah, it kind of represents what we are. You know, so I, if high schools can do it, you know, colleges can do it. Why can't a pro team do it? Because of Dan Schneider, that's why. You know, actually, I have an idea for, for those guys. Also, when I was growing up, the Redskins for a short period, when uh, Sonny Jurgensen was a the quarterback, they had these gold helmets, the yellow maize with the maroon stripes and a white stripe down the middle. They had a big white, a red circle with a white in the middle of it. So it was red and white and it had a red R. Did have feathers coming off, get rid of the feathers, but it had an R. Why not call them the Renegades? The Washington Renegades. That could work, you know? And you can keep the same team colors. Everything's good. Bring back those helmets. They were kind of cool. Put the R back on there. All right. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys today um, on this 101 uh, basic vlog. How many minutes am I in? Wow, it's almost 10 minutes. Sorry I rambled, you guys. And I'm not sorry. Every now and then I'm going to throw down one of these kind of vlogs because I think they need to be said. Um, tomorrow, maybe I'll do music comics. Maybe I'll just talk about, I don't know, I'm growing a beard. Maybe we'll talk about that. Who knows? All right, everybody, if you have to go out, mask up, because it's the 101. You should know that. Don't touch anybody. Duh. Don't, you know, wash your hands, sanitize, keep 
distance from each other. Just do it because it's still going and it's getting worse. And be sure to be kind to one another and be kind to yourself. Come on, you deserve it. We all need to hang in there. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll throw my website down there as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.